before we go up in smoke, we'll talk about the weather. It was beautiful today and it was a lot warmer. Meteorologist Scott Steele is here to give us a look at our forecast. I was wondering how you're going to make the transition, I, Shannon. I, I, I the growing trying. season is upon us or something like that. I don't know. Good evening, everybody. Happy Saturday night to you. Check it out. A live look from our Menominee Falls Tower Cam. What a beautiful sunset on tap with just a few clouds starting to move in. Uh, we'll see those clouds thicken up a little bit as we go through the night, but what a lovely sky we saw today as temperatures surged. In fact, that tops our weather headlines. The sudden surge in readings on the thermometer and just a bit breezy coming our way tomorrow, but dry days on tap for the near future. Going into the record books on this date, our high today, 46 degrees. And Milwaukee's Mitchell, the morning low, 20. So we came a long way to get to that 46. 39 and 25, the normal high and low. So at last above average for this time of year, nowhere near that record set back in 2000. A lot of us remember that. Wasn't that a nice 77 degrees? back in 2000 on this date. And outside right now, we've fallen off just a little bit from the highs of the day. Still in all, not bad. 38 degrees in Beaver Dam, 39 in Watertown. It's 40 in Whitewater, 40 as well in Lake Geneva, and also 38 degrees in Burlington, a 40 degree reading along the lake in Port, and 37 in West Bend. Good evening, you find folks in West Bend. All across southeastern Wisconsin, we're 10 to 20 degrees warmer than we were just 24 hours ago. So a huge surge in temperatures, and you can see just down to our southwest, even warmer Readings. We're going to tap into that over the next couple of days. 52 right now in Omaha, Nebraska. 62 in Wichita, Kansas. Don't know that we're going to see that, but a huge pattern shift changing in the atmosphere. Uh, this is how it's been over the last couple of months. Big warm bubble off to the west, but the cold air sinking down from the Arctic around here. Well, the jet stream going to flatten out as we go through the upcoming week and bring us that mild Pacific air. More of that coming our way. We call that a zonal flow, and it's something we'll look forward to. Satellite and radar combination showing the clouds clearing out early. Lots of sunshine today. We're going to see just a few clouds coming our way as we go through the night tonight and a mix of sun and clouds on future forecast in southeastern Wisconsin tomorrow. But then by Monday, more sunshine on the way. It looks like we're going to have a bright start to the work week. So your storm team forecast for tonight. Look for temperatures to drop on down to a seasonally cold 20 degrees with skies becoming partly cloudy for tomorrow. A mix of sun and clouds. We'll call it partly cloudy skies. Uh, in seasonal temperatures back up to about 41 degrees, but just a bit breezy. Here comes your storm team for seven day forecast. Look at this. A nice boost in temperatures again as we flirt with 50 degrees on Tuesday above average with more sunshine. And then on Wednesday again near 50 degrees temperatures by the end of the week uh, drop down just slightly, but we'll still be either at or above average by a few degrees. And again, no big storms in the offing. Shannon, this is what you've been waiting for. What yes. actually probably thousands of people have been waiting for. We shared your desire. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I, I mean, know. 43. Hallelujah. Almost 50 by Tuesday. I saw 46 in my car. You know, I was a little excited, maybe a little overzealous. Yeah, I would say that your car is not the official temperature, but you're right. We're working in that direction. <laughs> well, at least felt good to see it. Yeah. All right.